Okay, we're back. Um, I'm just going to focus on these three geometric shapes for this lesson for today. And um, if you've got leftover clay, have fun creating an organic shape. I'm just going to show you really quickly how you could sculpt an owl. Owls are pretty fun. Um, talk about organic. Has anybody seen one or heard one this, this spring? They tend to come out um, right about now. So I'm just elongating Actually, this is going to become our fourth geometric shape, and then we'll do an L, which is what would a rectangle become three-dimensionally? It could become a rectangular prism, or it could become a hmm, cylinder. So a cylinder, let's think of things, a cylinder, I always think of a tennis ball can because I love to play tennis. So there's our cylinder. So now we have our four geometric shapes. And our next lesson we're going to draw these with charcoal. If you can by any chance get a piece of charcoal to do our next study, I would love it. Okay, what little piece I have left, I'm going to make a little mini owl. I'm going to roll it into the shape of a cylinder. And then, so I've got my cylinder. I'm kind of just going to pull up two little ears. Because owls have very good ears. They can hear, and their eyes, that's why their eyes are so big, is because they can see to go very far. Okay, then I'm going to pinch little feet. They have very strong talons so they can swoop down and pick up mice or little other rodents they might see. Now with a pencil, and this is easy, you can just use any pencil. I'm going to poke holes for the two big eyes. I'm going to do that to start with. And then if you've got any extra clay, just pull some off of what I have here in the in the bag. I'm going to create a cup, two tiny spheres. Not way too big. So what have you been up to? I'd love to hear from you guys. Oh, and if you add anything to anything with clay, you got to dip it in water. You don't need a lot; just a teeny little dip, because that is like the glue. That makes it stay. Uh -huh, there's one eye. A little glue, sticking it in there. Ah, now she's starting to look more like an owl. Then they're not quite the same, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's an organic shape. Then in the middle, I'm going to poke two holes. Now I also have kind of a tiny little beak. I'm going to just add a teeny bit here. Or you could have pinched that out in the beginning to just pinch out a little beak. Okay, um, next I'm going to use the edge of my pencil to just kind of create some feather textures coming down the front here. It's fun to find out how you can use things that you have on hand to create texture. Now I'm going to draw just a little wing on one side little wing on the other side. And there we have our little, and if you want to come back and kind of push those shapes forward and out a little more, you can. Okay, there's our one little organic shape to go along with our geometric. Okay, 
that's it for this lesson on turning two-dimensional shapes into three-dimensional shapes. And we'll be back to draw them next time. Have a beautiful day. I do the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Do it with me. Thanks.